Okay, it looks like we got a Manuela to speak with. I'm glad. We lost a little bit of points with her before. Uh, who? Oh, settle down and stop with the knocking. I'll be there in two shakes. Oh my goodness. Is she drunk or tired? Or both? You were sleeping. Oh, dear. Professor? Is that you? I... Just a moment. Uh. Oh, what should I do? I can't open the door in this state. Manuela, you simply must quit oversleeping. Okay, she's tired. Hold on. Where are my clothes? I can't even find my... Where in blazes is my underwear? <clears throat> oh, I... What is my dressing robe belt caught on? Oh, I can't tie this properly. <laughs> it's not even covering... Oh, Manuela. <sighs> this will have to do. Stop talking to yourself out loud. Uh, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. Just... Oh, just hold on a moment. Oh, hello. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Uh huh. So, what do you want? That. Uh, what were you doing? Excuse me. You had a reason for coming here, I assume. Probably. I've put a lot of time and effort into making it possible to talk with you. You know. Sorry. No, you've done nothing wrong. Let's just say I'm not having a good day. Actually, I didn't have a good night. Never mind. What did you want, anyway? Hmm, I have a message from a knight. You heard from him? The fellow from last night? Huh, what did he have to say? He said, we will never go out together again. Or something like yeah, that else. figures. Kind of saw it coming, actually. That's why I came back to my room and went to bed. To get over it. <laughs> Thank you for checking in on me. Was that all you wanted? Well then, good night. Good, good night? Sleep well. Yeah, I'm like, wait, she's going back to bed? Ooh. Okay. Looks like I got someone else out here. Let's see. Oh. Professor. Oh, Aloise. Hi. Sure. Hello, Professor. You're really on the move today. A lot to get done, I take it? I'm happy to help. Uh, tell me, is there anything I can do to lighten your load a bit? Mm, I appreciate the offer, but... Oh, surely there must be something. Don't be shy about asking for help. We're practically siblings, after all. Cut from the same cloth. Yeah, okay. I was raised by Gerald just as you were, so we should have no trouble getting along. Wait, what? You were raised by Gerald? How old are you, Eloise? Huh? <laughs> Did I not mention that? How thoughtless! What an embarrassing gaffe! My parents died when I was small, and I came to live in the monastery. It was an aimless existence. But sometimes, a knight would pass by, wearing magnificent armor. That knight was Geralt. And the first time he laid eyes on me, he made me his squire. What was he thinking, huh? Sounds like Geralt. <laughs> no kidding. I don't think I'll ever fully understand his logic. Later, I heard that the squire preceding me had died of a terrible plague. I looked a bit like him and was about the same age, so Gerald thought me a suitable replacement. Okay. A little nutty, old Gerald, there's no doubt about that. Quite a character. All that was more than 30 years ago. How time flies. 
What? 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 How old is Gerald? Actually, I'm not entirely sure. You never asked him? Well, Gerald hardly seems to have aged since then. In fact, over drinks he once told me, uh, <laughs> Perhaps that's a story for another day. At any rate, that's Gerald for you. One of a kind. I don't think there's anyone else quite like him. Yeah, probably not. Right. Well, now you've heard my whole story. I hope that you understand now why I feel such a strong sense of attachment to you. That's fair. If you're ever in a bind, just give me a holler. I'll help however I can. Thanks for offering, but I can handle myself. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> well, I'll uh, let you get back to it. But truly, if I can take anything off your plate, don't hesitate to let me know. Aww. Dude's got a good heart. He's just a little eccentric about it. Oh my gosh, I have another one? So many support things. Mercedes. You there, youngster. Won't you listen to this old man's troubles? Wait, who are you? I was born and raised right here in this town. I spent my whole life here. My daughter lives in the Empire, and she sent me a letter to ask if I was keeping up with my daily worship. Well, hello there, Professor. Is this a friend of yours? I don't know him. Is that so? I was sure you two knew each other. Is there something we can do for you, good sir? Oh, what a lovely young lady. I was just telling this kind soul a story. Really? What's troubling you? Well, I was thinking of going to daily prayer, but my leg's been acting up and I can't walk properly. How terrible. That's no good at all. May I be of assistance? I'd be happy to lend a shoulder and escort you to the chapel. Would you? Oh, I'd be most grateful to you. Thank the goddess for sending this young lady to me today. We'll need your help too, Professor. Here, sir, take my arm. Splendid okay, work, then. Professor. He really seemed to appreciate our assistance. We did a good deed. Putting a smile on someone's face always seems to brighten up the day. Is something wrong? You're giving me a strange look. How did you know something was bothering him? Oh, mm, how should I put this? I suppose it's just second nature to me. What do you mean? It's difficult to describe, but I can usually tell when someone is worried about something. Back there, I could tell that both you and the old man were in distress. Well then. I spent a good amount of my life living in the church. Maybe that's why I'm so good at identifying these things? Uh, that's news to me. Did I not mention that before? I spent nearly ten years of my life in the Church of Fargus. Many came to us with their troubles. In my own time of need, I once ran to the church myself, and they helped me. May I share something with you, Professor? It's about a dream of mine. Okay, sure. What is your dream? I'd like to work in the church one day. I want to be like the priest who helped me. Oh. Never mind. It's not a very realistic dream. Please forget I said anything. If I were someone else, perhaps a commoner without a crest or stature, maybe things would be different. Oh, this is an interesting turn of events. Mercedes feels that she needs to continue with her connections, I suppose. She's probably a noble or something. But she just wants to be a normal person. Hmm. It's a bit sad, but this is the way things have to be. After all, only the goddess can decide our fates. 
Hmm. There's a lot to that. Hmm. Boop. And set it. Oh, when they're ready to speak with me? Oh, there he is. Okay. Professor. Ah, there you are. I apologize for calling you in so suddenly. Please, sit. There is a matter I would like to discuss with you. Okay. I believe I've told you this before, but it is my responsibility to aid the Archbishop in all her duties. What are those duties? Spiritual instruction, ceremony oversight, donation management, all of the Church's many administrative tasks. I oversee not only the priesthood, but also the Knights of Seros and the Officers' Academy. The Archbishop entrusts a great deal to my discretion, and I am honored by her confidence. Even when she must make decisions herself, she often seeks my counsel in advance. And yet, your appointment to a teaching position at the Officers' Academy was a complete surprise to me. Me too, though. Not only that, but you have also been entrusted with the Sword of the Creator. I was as surprised as anyone else to learn that. Frankly, I am just not sure how to handle you. I am the Archbishop's right hand, and yet when it comes to you, I have been told almost nothing. I can see how that would be frustrating. You don't trust me. Not quite. I do find you to be a trustworthy individual, but my subjective opinion is not enough. I have a duty to be cautious. Should the Archbishop's trust in you prove to be misplaced, it is the faithful who will suffer most. First, I would like to know just how much you know about yourself. You are the child of Geralt Eisner, correct? That's what I hear. That's quite a vague reply for such a basic question. In the future, I would advise you to answer such queries with confidence. But what if I'm not confident in the answer? As the former captain of the Knights of Seros, Geralt is renowned throughout Fodlan. If you really are his child, then no one would voice any complaint about you joining the Knights. How long has it been since you became a mercenary? Uh, about ten years, I think. Given your youth, that hardly seems likely. Come to think of it, I have never asked your age. Just how old are you exactly? Uh, well, um... Your face says it all. You truly don't know, do you? Just what was Gerald thinking, raising you this way? No kidding! Even my roster says question mark, question mark. Given your responses thus far, I feel as though any further questions would just be a waste of our time. Yeah. However, permit me to make one thing clear. Whatever her reasons, the Archbishop has placed great faith in you. Do not betray that trust. That is all. I got your back, Zedith. No worries. Ah, okay. Whoa! A lot more people that need to talk with other people. Okay then, let's do it. Mercedes, hello. I have a request for you. Oh, Alois. What could you possibly need at this hour? A little birdie told me you're good at telling ghost stories. I suppose I am. Uh, okay. So it's true. Excellent. <laughs> I'd like to hear one of your finest ghost stories. Would you be amenable? Goodness, you want me to share one? Well, certainly. I'm rarely asked to tell ghost stories. Which should I tell? Perhaps the one I heard in the monastery the other day. Oh, oh, wait a moment. Is something the matter? Well, I was only asking whether you'd tell me. <laughs> the telling itself will have to be another time. Oh my gosh, Eloise. Are you sure? It's no trouble right now. <laughs> no, I have to steal myself. Uh, I mean, I have something important to do. Mm -hmm. I see. That's a shame, but I suppose it can't be helped. If you don't mind my asking, why the sudden interest in hearing a ghost story? Well, you see, uh, ghosts terrify me. Hmm. But I'm a knight. 
Someday, somewhere, I may have to deal with one. Hmm. A knight who's afraid of ghosts. <sighs> yes. <laughs> it's quite embarrassing. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. Even knights can't be stoic toward everything. I'm impressed that you're working so hard to face your fear. No, oh, it's nothing, really. I will tell you my scariest ghost story the next chance I get. Oh, it needn't be your very scariest. A, a moderately scary story will suffice. Uh, thank you for taking the time. <laughs> moderately scary story. Uh, and Ingrid and Seth. I think that's everything. <sighs> Is something troubling you, Ingrid? Oh, Sedith. You seem to have caught me when I thought nobody was around. Perhaps I can help, if you would like to share. I wouldn't want to bother you with my trivialities. I will not pry, of course. But if you keep it to yourself, no one will be able to help you. That's true. It's regarding my father. Count Galatea. I have met him once or twice. Well, you have likely heard that House Galatea's financial situation is precarious. Mm-hmm. Many regions of Fargus are harsh and infertile, but our lands are especially so. There were several years of fruitless harvests. It nearly ruined us. We could barely feed our troops. Then I was born bearing a crest, after generations bore none. Suddenly my family hung its future on me. My father had hopes that with my crest, I'd be married into a noble family, and that House Galatea's financial troubles would be a thing of the past. Ah. I see. And the other house would benefit from the addition of your crest-bearing blood. Hmm. It seems to me you have suffered much for the misfortune of being born with a crest. I beg your pardon? I know crests are highly valued, but they are also a burden. My feelings are mixed. You truly think so? But you're so devoted to the goddess. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. Perhaps one day I will expound upon my opinion of crests in greater detail with you. Hello. That's a different aspect of his personality I didn't expect. For now, let it suffice to say that whether or not you bear one is secondary to your identity. You are a person, first and foremost. And you should be permitted to grow as a person. Crest or not. My respect for Sedith has gone up another level. Wow. I agree. Thank you for listening. If you ever wish to discuss this again, consider me available whenever you please. Thank you so much. Wow. Nice. There we go. Okay, now <laughs> we're done with all the support. Wow. Zedith, grown on me there, buddy. Goodness. Alright, so we'll do some instruction real quick, and then at the next weekend, we'll end this video. I have so many people to instruct now. Ugh. Um, let's see. Who do we want to work on? Flames, well, C+. Plus. She's not terribly behind. Oh, she has a budding talent, though, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. For a reason. Oh. I have done it! Yay! I forgot that I haven't actually heard her dialogue for this. I'm just speeding through it. No need to discontinue with the praises. Nah, she's like, keep going, keep going, keep going. All thanks to your help. Indeed. Okay. Does Annette have one? No, she does not. Does Shamir have one? No, she does not. Okay. Let's see who else I want to work on. Uh, let's bring up Marianne's writing. I think it's coming along. I can't believe it. Oh. I hear you. I 
hear you. Oh no 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 no! You are wet. Oh gosh. Oh, you are you are wet. The kitty just came inside. It's been raining outside, and he is soaking wet. And I don't want him on me. No, it's okay, kitty. You stay right where you are. You're a good boy. Stay there. Stay there. I don't need your wetness on me. No, you stay there. Okay, let's keep working on people. Uh, Edelgard's getting a little behind. So let's go ahead and work on some more of this. Oh, she's like right there for a reason. I still have much to learn. Nice. Prior. I'm getting closer. Indeed. Well, what else can we do? Nothing worth celebrating. Praise is. I'm improved. Yeah, three more sessions. Let's work on. Uh, Linhart. It is a. Oh, I. How am I? Bulganon? How long will this take? Oh! Nice Bulganon. Who else is behind? Let's see. Hmm. Let's hit Petra with her, uh, her bow work. Clean that up a little bit. Get a little closer on par with uh, everything else. What? Jeez. You are. You're. There we go. I am. Nice. You're. My. You have my. Got that. One more to go. C plus C C plus C C. Bring Dorothea's swordsmanship up as well. No. Okay, so we're done there. Let's double check our group tasks real quick. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so we got Petra and Linhart together for a group task, and let's um let's begin our lecture. Well, may I? Excuse me, can you help me? I always get the feeling I'm being watched. I get so nervous I can't sleep at night. Hmm. That's the goddess watching over you. You're safe here. I see. That is a lot of points. Hmm. Mm, no. We'll still split it. Uh oh. Lane would like to speak with me. Sure. Excuse me, Professor. May I have a moment of your time? Certainly. Ah, wonderful. I was hoping you might enlighten me. About yourself, that is. You see, I happen to be quite curious about you. Oh, why is that? Well, because there is something different about you. You possess an air of mystery. I could not help but notice when first we met. I am intrigued, to say the least. I find it rather difficult to put into words. Were I to wax poetic, I would say you remind me of the sea. Have you ever been, Professor? Uh, interesting. A few times, yes. The sea is vast, boundless. On the surface, all seems still. Yet beneath that stillness, it is unfathomably deep. Within, it teems with life. Yet without, one is lucky to glimpse a fleeting shadow. 
And yet, all one must do is cast a line to grasp hold of all that life. You cannot see it at a glance, but it is there all the same. Are we talking about fishing or are we talking about me? What are you talking about exactly? About fish, of course. Oh, father. I got sidetracked, didn't I? Right. About the <laughs> sea, during a storm, the once calm waters become mighty enough to overturn even the vastest ships. Not unlike you. You are calm. You carry yourself with poise. Yet you wield great power. My brother was uncertain of you at first. He once referred to you as a youth of dubious origin. I mean, it's not untrue. Oh, but please do not think ill of him. He is incredibly dedicated to his work. So surely you understand why he would have doubts about one of whom he knows so little. Nobody even seems to know your age. Incidentally, how old are you? I just had this conversation with Seth. I don't know. Wait, you do not know your own age? <laughs> you truly are mysterious. Hmm, looking at you, it is quite difficult for me to determine. I wonder, could you be younger than your own students? And how old are you? Who, me? Well, I am roughly the same age as the other youths here. You look younger than the others. Be that as it may, it is simply not the case. Oh, by the way, you should know I had actually been considering enrolling in the academy for a while. I have endured hard times, but I am so grateful that those very experiences led to my acceptance at the academy. Okay. Oh, my apologies. I am sure you have much work to do. I will not keep you any longer. We must speak again sometime, if that would be all right. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Alrighty. Gotcha. Let's get it done quickly. We can have success with each other. There's one thing taken care of. Yeah, I didn't figure it was going to be much, but hey, build some relationships. Well worth the effort. Hit and run. Nice. Yeah. Hey! Hi! I will hear him out. People say you're quite skilled. Perhaps if I joined your class, I could watch your sword technique up close. Oh, of course. Indeed. I think that's best. I'll transfer to your class then. Don't make me regret it. Oh, you won't. Got it. All right. We got another member of a roster, but that's going to be it for this video because we have some battling to do and I am out of time. So thanks for coming by and hanging out with me. Um, next time we'll take up battles. We'll continue through the rest of the month and then uh, hopefully finish it up in the next three to four videos. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but until then, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Take care and I will catch you next time.